What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. I am the coach and if you're new here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. We are getting started with some NCAA 07 with Christian Okafor. In this episode guys, we are gonna be playing Clemson and UCLA. Now before I started recording this guys, we did have a bye week which I did a ton of practice. So we now have a bunch of bonus points. Let's go ahead and upgrade Okafor's rating. We currently have 16 points. Okafor is a 97 overall right now but we are giving him 99 strength and 95 carrying. So that makes him a 99 overall power back. The dude is absolute beast mode now. Let's check out the Heisman watch. Now I have said in previous videos that Okafor started the year on the watch. Obviously he's fallen off. So this episode we are going to get him back on track to get into the top five by just running the ball like a madman. Looking at the newsletter, the main ingredient, Okafor's running is crucial to Notre Dame's success this season, and that is exactly what we are going to be doing in this episode, just running the ball constantly with Okafor. First up, Clemson, let's go. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Clemson Tigers and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. We've had some great games so far this season, and this one has all the makings to be another fantastic one. And here comes the Fighting Irish. The Tigers are coming into this game looking very fired up. Kirk, what are your thoughts on today's game? Notre Dame is led offensively by their quarterback, and he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game. I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction. Big game today by the quarterback. Kirk? Great minds think alike. I'm picking Fighting Irish. And here we go. Clemson starts off on offense first, facing a third and seven. Fisher looking downfield. Can't find anybody open. Stepping up in the pocket and gets sacked by number 99, setting up a fourth down. Now it is time for the Fighting Irish to get up on offense. They are facing their own third and 10, trying to convert, and they are not able to find Pino. So neither offense can get anything going in their first series. Fisher trying to get something going, ends up getting picked off by the Fighting Irish's linebacker, number 41. That not only is gonna give us great field position, but is also gonna get us momentum. And I have to tell you guys, that was actually a user pick, so I gotta give myself some credit. All right, it's time to go into cheese mode, baby. Oka for direct snap, bouncing it out to the outside, doing a spin move back in. We pick up the first down, and it is now first and goal. I formation counter. Oka for takes it to the left side, touchdown, greatly blocked by the fullback. We're up seven nothing. Clemson back on offense for the third time. Fisher still trying to get a rhythm going. Finds his receiver, but is not enough for the first down. But Notre Dame having all the momentum in the game early. We're just going to feed Oka for the ball. Counter play. Makes the guy miss with a spin move. Does another spin move and drags the defender down all the way to the 39-yard line. Just keep feeding this nightmare. Nice cutback by Okafor on the next play. Picks up another first down, and we are about to be in the red zone. I call this play more cheese, please. Okafor direct snap, able to outrun everybody to the left. Another first down, and this is going just like clockwork. Facing a third and 12, though, we are going to have to start throwing the ball. Graham getting flustered, trying to find his open receiver. The true freshman is not able to come down with it, forcing a fourth down. We are going to have to kick a field goal right here. It is a 33-yard attempt to put us up by 10. Kick is up, and it is good. So far, this Notre Dame defense has been playing absolutely unstoppable on third down. It is now third and 13. Can Clemson get anything going here? Fisher, oh wow, he's just doing an automatic quarterback scramble. Trying to pick up the first down with his legs. Not able to, a yard short. That means Notre Dame is back on the offense attack. Getting Christian some yards. Throws a man down to the ground and we are almost at midfield. There is only a minute 25 left to go in the half. Another direct snap to Okafor. Plowing through defenders, getting all the way down to the 35. It is now time to go to the air. Graham looking, 
Finds the true freshman across the middle of the field. Picks up the first down, wanting to get more, and then he fumbles it. Oh, no, and Clemson recovers, giving them a little bit of momentum right before the half. Fortunately, our defense steps up and now is facing a third and four by the Clemson offense, and we are able to stop Lawson for fourth and two, and that is how the half is going to end. Notre Dame gets the opening series at the start of the second half. We're going to hand it off to Okafor, who has full energy and once again picks up first downs with ease, making people miss, but we are stuck with third and six a couple plays later. Graham has got to step up. He's unable to make the throw, gets sacked by the defensive end, and we are going to have to punt the ball in our opening series. Clemson finally able to get something going, puts a bunch of first downs together, and they are setting up for a 40-yard field goal. It is good. It is now 10-3. Picking up action midway through the fourth. We are facing a third and long, trying to throw the ball to our true freshman. He's able to make the catch, but he is short of the first down, forcing us to make a decision on fourth down. We're going to give it to Okafor. Can he use his speed to get out wide? He is just barely able to beat the defense for the first down, and that is huge because look what happens on the very next play. We're wanting to run a half back direct snap, but I don't like what the defense is giving us, so we change it up to the blast, and Okafor runs down the left sideline. Gone. No one's going to touch him. We are up 17-3 with only a minute 46 to go in the game. 48-yard touchdown. Clemson wants to get back in this game. They have got to score a touchdown on this drive, and it's got to be quick. Fisher knows that. He's going deep, throwing it in double coverage, and Wade, the free safety, ends up getting the interception. This game is all but over, but we've got to get Christian some more yards, so we're not over just yet. 50 seconds to go in the game. Second and 13. We're giving Okafor the running back toss. He makes it to the outside. Great blocking, and he is gone. That is the nail in the coffin. This game is a wrap. 74-yard touchdown for that boy, Christian Okafor, the nightmare. And that's pretty much going to do it. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams, but I was really impressed the way this game was won. Notre Dame faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2007. Again, our final score, Notre Dame 24, Clemson 3. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Christian really came alive in that fourth quarter, getting 268 total yards on 24 carries with three touchdowns. Back in the dorm room, let's check out the calendar. Up next, guys, we have got UCLA. Let's take a look at the game information. So UCLA currently is ranked number 24th in the nation. They're actually 4-0, and they are an A- minus overall. So this is a very good team. Should be a challenging game for us to win today. And we're playing away. After another great week of practice, we got more points, man. We're just going to keep adding on to Okafor's rating. Should have eight rating points to use. And what else do we use them on? I mean, there's very few things we can. We're going to max out carrying at a 99. And then we're going to start bumping up the awareness. It is currently a 70. With the four remaining points, it's going to be bumped up all the way to a 78 now. After that spectacular game versus Clemson, let's see if we're on the Heisman watch. No, still not there. There is only one running back from Tennessee on the watch. The rest are quarterbacks. All I can do is keep feeding the Nigerian nightmare here against UCLA. Let's get another win. Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Bruins of UCLA. In the midst of this wonderful college football season, this game certainly looks to have all the energy of a championship game. And here come the Bruins. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. UCLA knows exactly what they need to do to win this football game, and that's to throw the football. Their quarterback is going to have to step up and make some big plays. And Lee, I think he'll do it. I think they're going to win. 
There won't be any upsets today, Kirk. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish are going to win this game. All right, here we go. We're going to start quick with the Fighting Irish on offense. Graham finding an open wide receiver for the first down. Great conversion, keeps the chains moving. And now it is time to get Okafor going right up the middle. He's able to get another first down with ease, and we are at midfield. You know what's coming next, baby. Put some more cheese sauce on there. Get it, Okafor. Spin move, breaking tackles, another first down. The dude's already got 22 yards on the ground on this drive. Next play, I formation, doing the counter play. Okafor just outrunning everybody for another first down. And we're in that goal line set still. Loving the halfback toss. Okafor finding some room down the right sideline, picking up first downs at will. And now it's time to change it up a little bit. We're actually going to be running a screen pass to Okafor. He puts his hand up. He wants it. He's met with some resistance at the three, but he drags these guys in for a nine-yard touchdown. I cannot even remember the last time Okafor had a receiving touchdown. UCLA offense comes out now facing a third and 12 with only six seconds left to go in the first quarter. Bridges is looking, finds his tight end who gets blown up by number 41, forcing the fourth down. Start of the second quarter, we're gonna do a little bit of option work over here with Graham. Nice pitch relationship, Okafor takes it. Spin move, first down, the man always falling forward. More cheese, please. Okafor with the direct snap. Goes down the left sideline with his impact move. And he's picking up another first down. We are in the red zone. Couple plays later though, we are facing a long third and 22. Gonna run a screen play to Okafor just to try to pick up some extra yards, setting up for a decent field goal. Fourth and 16, 41 yard field goal attempt right here. Kick is on his way. It is a line drive, but it is good. Notre Dame ahead by 10. UCLA need to get something going here with only a minute 42 to go in the half. Bridges finds Brothers. And I gotta admit guys, that is totally my fault. I had the free safety Scott, played that horribly, gave up the touchdown. It is now 10 to seven. Graham, we're looking to go deep right here. I don't know why, but I throw it deep to Wheeler in triple coverage, thinking he still has a chance to come down with it, but Holiday gets the interception and now all the momentum is on UCLA's side. Luckily, our defense holds, and we go into half with a 10-7 lead, but the UCLA Bruins come out on offense to start the second half, and they literally waste the entire third quarter marching down the field, getting a six-yard touchdown. They now take the lead. It is 14-10. Knowing that we got to get something going, Graham is able to find the true freshman number 89 for a first down on the very next play, I'm looking to go for the cheese play, but I do not like how that linebacker is lined up outside, so we change it up. We're going to change it to a half-back dive. Okafor takes the handoff, follows his blocks, makes a guy miss by leaping over him, and he's off to the races, gives a guy the stiffy, and he is going to go in for the touchdown. 66 yards we regain the lead 17 to 14 that my friends was a heisman moment ucla feeling the momentum slipping from their hands is facing a third and 11 bridges looking over the middle once again is incomplete great defense by the fighting irish after a couple first downs we are looking to throw the ball once again doing some crossing routes True freshman open over the middle, first down, and now it is time for the Nigerian Nightmare to take over. The dude is pulsating. That means you got to hand that man the rock. Finding some room on the outside to the left. Wish you would have been able to plow over that defender, but it still gets him down to the two-yard line. And then we're just going to follow our blocks. Touchdown, Oka for one-yard run. And we are now up 24 to 14 with just over two minutes to go in the game. UCLA still having a shred of hope, only down by 10 in great field position if they can get a touchdown right here. Bridges looks in the end zone. It's intercepted by Bass and literally the game is over. 
Usually I would just take a knee, run the clock out, and it'd be over with, but no. We got to get Okafor more yards, man. We got to keep pouring it on. We got to get him back in the Heisman race. So more cheese sauce, please. Direct snap, Okafor. Can he make a guy miss? He does with the spin move. Picks up an easy 15, and we are just going to keep feeding the nightmare. Picking up first downs at will. This guy cannot be stopped. It is only a matter of can we score before the clock runs out. Okafor making more guys miss. We are now at midfield. And you know what? Why not throw it with Okafor? I mean, his catcher rating is a 52. But hey, if he can catch dimes like these, we might need to throw it to him more often. That's a first down on third down. The man can do it all. Last play of the game. Final cheese sauce play. Okafor gets out wide, trying to bend it back up the field, gets tackled at the two, and the game is over. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams, but I was really impressed the way this game was won. Notre Dame came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2007. The final count in this one, Notre Dame 24, UCLA 14. Another solid performance by Okafor, running the ball 24 times for 234 yards and two touchdowns on the ground. But more impressively, he was able to catch four passes for 32 yards and a touchdown. The dude had three total touchdowns on the day. After back-to-back -back stellar performances, let's check out the newsletter and see what the article says. Breaking free Notre Dame's Okafor takes home Player of the Week honors after win. That is awesome. We had over 500 yards rushing in those two games combined. Let's see if we made it to the Heisman watch. No, we are still not there. The Tennessee running back has moved up, but it is just a bunch of quarterbacks after that. Checking out the top 25, we're actually moved up a bunch. We're sitting at number 12. We moved up five spots. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I am the coach. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'm out.